In this video, I'd like to cover hand grips or maybe a pistol grip in FreeCAD. This is any ergonomic grip that will fit your hand nicely. It could be for a joystick or something else. Uh, let's get started uh, making something like this. Uh, let's actually make a new part, create a body, create a sketch. And on the XY plane, uh, I can make a series of arcs. And I can use a vertical constraint here. Notice I've got my keyboard monitor so you can see the hotkeys that I use. And I'm going to add in another arc. I'm going to go with a tangent constraint. And we'll also add a horizontal constraint with the arc center. We're going to add in a vertical, which we'll go with how about one inch here. We'll add in a horizontal of about 0.6 inches. And we'll add in a half inch radius. And we are constrained there. Let's add in another set. We're going to add in a tangent relation, equal relation, vertical relation. And it doesn't seem to like the vertical relation, so I'll just highlight these two points and then vertical. And we have an over constraint of 11, which is very interesting because that actually isn't an over constraint in my mind. But uh, nonetheless, I can add uh, these two points and add in a horizontal when we're fully defined. Uh, the next thing we can do, we'll go with tangent equal. And then I guess I need to add in a vertical, do that relative to the origin, fully constrained. Same thing, equal, uh, tangent, and horizontal. Same thing again. Equal, tangent, and horizontal. And you can use uh, half the arcs, right? You can actually extend this arc all the way across the axis. And my intent is to create a point where my sketch crosses an axis, right? So we cross an axis here, we have a point. Across this axis, we have a point. Across this axis, we have a point. And that is to help constrain very easily and accurately some future sketches. So you can do these with single arcs and simply add in some sketch points. Looks like I'm uh, overdefined, so. And it says that uh, constraint 20 is still overdefining me when I was. That's strange. Let's control Z this. Uh, those constraints are acting kind of funny. Uh, instead, I'll start from here. Oh, and I don't think I meant to exit that sketch. So let's go with equal, horizontal. And let's uh, combine these two points. Nope, control Z, that overdefines the sketch. I have not uh, previously had these relations acting like that, it's kind of strange. Let's go next with equal, and we're fully defined. Uh, and that seems like a nice uh, profile for the side of a hand grip. So we've got certain sketch points that uh, we've been able to add to where our planes are. That means that I can create another sketch, YZ. I'm going to import a point here. And we can start with a B spline. I'm going to do one that is directly above. And we think pinky, ring finger, middle finger, index finger. And then uh, we can go up and end our sp uh, spline. We'll add in a vertical relation here and here, like that, five inches. 
And I'm going to grab all of these side guys. V for vertical. V for vertical. I can start to visually arrange uh, what I want my handle to look like in these splines. So I can take these last extra points and do a vertical relation, and that makes sure that my handle uh, ends on vertical. So we do the same thing here. This is intended to be vertical. There. We'll just start to ask ourselves, what might a good finger grip look like? This is kind of on the boundary of what you would do in uh, X Surface on the Dassault platform, where they have completely non-parametric surface mesh modeling that is uh, intended for industrial engineering. But this is uh, still considered parametric. Starting to look like a good grip. Okay, so let's accept that. And I think that's probably going to be as good as it gets. Let's grab in another sketch, same plane, let's import another edge, I'm going to make kind of a smooth arc, it's a large radius, I'm also going to make this 5 inches. radius, um, I meant to say 10 inches there, looks fine, and you can grab the endpoints and use a V for vertical relation, just like that. Uh, next we can grab another plane, so you can see I'm, I've made one side and now I'm making an outline. Let's grab another plane, and this time the XZ plane. going to actually make two sketches in one here, and getting normal to the sketch, you can do this however you would like. I'm going to make two arcs, you can use V-splines again, and that would be kind of cool. I'm actually going to add a vertical dimension, again for 5 inches, and in a radius of, uh, what if we did 8 inches, that seems pretty good and a vertical again let's do another adding in a vertical dimension of five inches then a vertical relation and a radius let's go with something like 20 inches right very linear slight curve to it you can hardly even tell that's curved maybe i'll go with one yard that's pretty good let's close that Next, you want to go to the Curved Shapes Workbench. If you do not have this installed, then in version 3. Point, I'm sorry, 0 0.17 and on, you go to the Add-on Manager, click OK. Under Workbenches, you click on uh, Curved Surfaces, uh, or Curved Shapes right there, and you click Install, Update, then Restart FreeCAD, and you have it. Uh, so in Curved Shapes, let's select our initial sketch and then the three sketches that we've made and we click on this guy and you can see it uh, adds in a nice curved array of our hand grip and all we have to do is adjust some of these settings down here with this curved array highlighted we're going to say solid is true and you can see that doesn't look much like a hand grip because it doesn't capture our fingers so we'll up the uh, number of items to 50 or so. That'll give us a little bit of a higher resolution and that makes kind of a nice little pistol grip. Uh, you can also uh, make this to 100 or 500. You know, eventually you'll, you'll start degradating the quality because you'll have 
so many items in your array. But uh, that's that's a pretty straightforward way of making a very nervesy organic kind of uh, grip. All right, um, I think you can finally head on back to. I'll go to the part work bench this time. Highlight this face. Maybe we can add in a fillet. I guess it wants me to select uh, some specific edges, and uh, that's a that's a one millimeter fillet. So I'm gonna say okay. Yep, that'll help smooth things out a little bit. Maybe we can add in a fillet down here. Yep. So there's a hand grip. I can upload this to GrabCAD. You can download this model. And that's uh, one strategy of making hand grips in FreeCAD. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.